14-year-old Zayden Ward back in class over at Monterey High School after a scary diagnosis from last month. The freshman football player collapsed after a football game and then spent days in the hospital. Doctors say he'll need heart surgery at some point, but for now, he's just trying to get back used to being a normal teenager for now. Kelby Case and Jaxie Pigeon caught up with him today to see how that's going. Jaxie? Matt Terry, Zayden says even though he has not been able to get back out on the football field, it really made his day to return to the Friday night lights and see his friends for the homecoming game. His road to recovery won't be an easy one, but he's choosing to stay positive about everything nonetheless. They sent me notes in an envelope, uh, I guess from like, I guess the whole school. It was like, get well soon. It made me feel like I matter, you know? Those cards were from students at Wiley High School. The school ward was playing back on August 31st when the Monterey football player collapsed on the field. His heart was shocked twice, he began seizing, and was rushed to the hospital and eventually care flighted to Cook Children's. We talked with his grandmother just two weeks after the incident. They discovered that the artery on the left side was smaller than the artery on the right side and the blood wasn't flowing through properly. Doctors decided he needed to have open heart surgery, but before that happens, Zayden is back at school two hours a day, and because of his condition, he has to use an elevator instead of the stairs. I go two periods each day, so on Monday I do my first and second, and then Tuesday I do third and fourth. It was a huge change, but it's been going pretty good. Zayden's cousin has watched him through his recovery process and says he's impressed with how the freshman has handled everything. The main focus was, you know, school, and, you know, you can't, you can't do any sports without your schooling. You know, he's staying positive and he's always got a smile on his face and he's, he's doing really good. I'm proud of him. But Zayden's mom says he's been getting tired very quickly during the school day. The status on Zayden on his heart is like, it's kind of like an elderly person, I would say. So they're needing to team up with his um, pediatric cardiologist. He's going to team up with an adult cardiologist to do the surgery. So the pair of cardiologists will perform an angiogram in about a week at Harris Methodist Hospital in Fort Worth. The x-ray procedure will help doctors see Zayden's heart's blood vessels so they can make a decision on how and when to proceed with his open heart surgery. Where his heart is right, right now, the status of it being like, you know, not working where it needs to be working for a 14-year-old, that's kind of risky on their end because they got to help and get it done. Zayden admits he's a little scared for what's to come but he wants to get it over with as soon as possible. His ultimate goal? Being back to myself and playing what I love, football. In the meantime, Zayden will continue to wear a cardiac vest to protect himself. The wearable defibrillator automatically shocks his heart when it detects abnormal heart rhythm. His angiogram will be in one week at Harris Methodist Hospital in Fort Worth. After that, his mom tells me they should be able to get an official date on the calendar for his open heart surgery.